Hi, and welcome to the sheep shed here at Landry this afternoon. Uh, we're about uh, just under a third of the way through. Uh, been a fairly decent lambing, but the weather's been pretty atrocious. Um, I just want to show you uh, uh, how we do the tagging on the AgriWeb system, uh, which we are running uh, on the farm. So as you can see, I've got it uh, on my mobile phone, uh, and it's attached to my arm to make it very, very easy, uh, so that I can carry on with my work. I've got my stick reader on the other, other arm, but I've got you know, one hand free to do whatever needs to be done. As you can see, the, the sheep are in the sheep shed. I think we've got about 373 left to lamb. Uh, we've got a few ewes in the pens here, using lambs. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to go to, first of all, uh, connect the stick reader. You only have to do that once during a session. So if I go to menu, I go to hardware connections, I turn the stick reader on. Uh, it's the, uh, you can see all my other connections here, but it's a PTS technology one. I just clicked on connect. There it goes. Uh, only have to do that once, as I said. I then go to, uh, livestock. I go to create bulk record. Uh, we're obviously doing sheep. I then go down to birth. And, uh, the lamb was born, or the two lambs were born today. Uh, I need to pick up the ewe. There it is, already. Uh, she's a maiden new, a Highlander. Uh, her details are in there. Uh, she's not a surrogate, obviously, so it defaults to no. Um, paternity type, I don't need to put that in. I could put in natural selection or, or natural or, or, or AI. Um, I don't need to put in a sire. I could if I wanted to. It is it an Aberfield or a Highlander. Uh, she's, a, she's a Highlander. She's got two lambs. Uh, manage the object within AgriWeb. Yes, obviously the most common fields uh, go to the right default. You don't want to be changing them all the time. Um, I've already tagged them, but not picked, but I've picked if they're a male or a female. Uh, this one's obviously a female. So I click on female. Alive, obviously, not stillborn. Fertility status, we don't know. We click to add tag. There we go. And the tag has come up there. I could also put in the tag color if I wanted. Uh, so it's green for this year. There we go. Uh, I don't want to put a birth weight in, uh, but I've got that option. Then you've got the second lamb. And he's obviously uh, a male lamb. So I click on male, uh, not stillborn. Uh, click to our tag. There we go. And uh, because that is a slaughter tag, uh, the other one was a full EID tag because she's a ewe lamb and will keep on for breeding or sell for breeding. Uh, the, this one's only got the slaughter tag on, so the tag color here is obviously yellow, uh, and you, you only have one tag. I don't want to put a weight on, and I click save, and there we go, and then you move on to the next ewe. Um, so it's that easy, and once the records are on there, obviously you can uh, do your uh, management, uh, sort of work with them through the summer, looking at daily live gains, or if you want to put in any health treatments, you've got them on an individual basis. Uh, but as you can see in the shed, uh, we don't do that every time. If we're doing a blanket treatment, we can also put it on as a mob treatment, which is great facility within AgriWeb. Thank you very much.